Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and I spent way too much time playing the uh, the, the basically FNF game last night. So, um, <laughs> this is probably going to be a short video. It's already 1240 at night, so, I, I don't know, 15 minutes, maybe? But I, I did want to jump in here and say happy Friday. I hope that everyone is having a great day. I hope you had a great day, you know? It's, it's Friday. And we, you've only got, like, let's, let's say you're having lunch right now, and you're watching one of my videos. Uh, and tonight, we're going to have karaoke inside the Discord. And then tomorrow, we have uh, Family Movie Night, and we got Roblox live stream, and we got all kinds of good stuff coming up. So, that's awesome. Uh, I'm wanting to kind of do a live stream of random games and stuff like that, so I think that's what we'll do tomorrow, but I, I don't know. The other thing is, I reached 100 on uh, level 100 on... Uh, Fortnite, so that's good too. Um, the other thing you might see is my filter, and yes, I love I love this filter. I think it makes me look awesome, and I want to keep it on. So I read the comments. A lot of you agreed with me. You were like, "Yeah, it looks really good," but there were some who were like, "Dude, this is awkward. This is weird." I've always wanted an avatar to like sit in, in place of where I'm at. Like, I know, I'm, I know I'm good looking in the first place, but this just is like, I'm a Disney prince. <laughs> so, I'm going to keep it on. And if you don't like it, tell me in the comments down below. That's fine. You, don't be mean about it, but at the same time, just know that I like, I like it. I like the filter, and I think I'm going to keep it. So, uh, let's go ahead and get moving upstairs. I, I like that we got our kitchen going and stuff. But I need to move some of this stuff upstairs. So, we're going to have a bigger kitchen up here. Uh, I would say a master bedroom somewhere. Oh, somebody in the comments said, Code, you should make some more pillars. Like, on, on these ends here. I thought, that's a brilliant idea. I like that idea. So, let's make some pillars. Um, let's see. That's a, that's a wall. I don't want a wall. What do I want? I want a smooth wall, like this. Hold on, is that going to be... I think that's going to be two units off. But, if I, if I, okay, hold on. Let's do this. If I do one there, and then I do another one immediately beside it. Right? That would make two by twos, I think. Nice. And then can I do some short walls here? Smooth short wall. One here and one here. That way all I have to do is uh, fill in that little gap, which could probably just be done with, um, let's see, a regular floor? Maybe a... Ooh! Regular floor would look kind of cool, wouldn't it? Just on the edge, like that. Oh! Okay. Okay, now we're getting stylish. So, <sighs> I'll put that at the four corners of the house. This way it, it looks all feng shui. Oh, I should do a, a different color for the middle. Maybe maybe cherry to go along with the, the walls? What do you think? Boop. Um, it looks kind of weird. Um, not sure I like that. Not sure. It, it looks too monotone. Like there's there's not enough oomph or color to it, or maybe pattern. What do you think? Leave me a comment down below. Let me let me know if this is a, a good design. Boom. See that kind of looks like a little pillar with like a little a little step or something. I don't know. I don't. I. Yeah, I don't like that. Let's go ahead and destroy that. No good. No, no, no. Let's do a small floor right in there like that. And let's make that... Uh, do I get some birch? Yeah. Let's grab some birch here. Let's see how that looks in, uh, in birch wood. Oh, and great idea about the, the ice wood for the, um, the mirror. I like that idea. I don't have any ice wood here. That looks cooler. You know, kind of like a little, 
little thing, but that's a that's a big pillar. So I mean, if we're going to support the house, we're going to need one right about here in the middle as well. So um, I'm going to leave this up to you. Leave me a comment down below. Should I do all of the sides like that? Did you like the the cherry wood? Give me ideas for the pillars, and I'll put that into the next one. As for now, let's head upstairs and start sectioning this section out. So I don't want this to be like a thing. Um, so let's let's go ahead and go to the walls. We're gonna do a smooth wall right here. Oh oh oh, and right here. So this is this is actually going to be like an actual staircase where you have to go in and out through like a singular door. Oh oh, not there, not there. Oh wait, can we get this to smush down in there? No, that's gonna that's gonna be weird in the end. I don't want to do that. There we go. So then that would lead up here. Uh, then we can do like a smooth wall here maybe, and B. Let's do another smooth wall. Is there? A, there's a thin one right there, and that's going to tuck because I've got to use. What do I have to use? Actually, I could I could just use the smooth wall, do a rotate right there, and it just juts out by one. That way I don't have to build a whole bunch of uh, little pillars to fill things in. Yeah, that's good. I like that. That's fine. We'll have, uh, have this kind of sectioned off here. And then let's build this direction. One, two. We'll have a door of some kind right there. Uh, like that, and can I fit this in there? Is it is it too thin? Yeah, it's too too wide, <clears throat> too wide, too wide. All right, so let's move all these one unit out, like that. Move this one. Yeah, come right there. Come with me now. Come with me now. And that one right there. Good. So now if we go two, smooth wall, boom, nice. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and go grab some of our cherry wood. Do, do, do. Are all the walls going to be cherry? Should we, should we do a different color for the upstairs bedrooms? Nah, nah, I like the cherry wood. I like the way it looks. Boink, there we go. Oh, I almost missed a piece. We can chop that in two and get two walls out of it, I think. Maybe. Maybe. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, it's it's fine. It's fine. It was just the other wall. Choppy chop chop. There we go. Um, I find designing the building be kind of fun but at the same time like I'm not really a builder I know you guys say all the time like code you're so good at building blah 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 no don't make my head all big I'm really not if you guys want to watch uh, an amazing builder bunny films I'm not gonna lie dude that guy has got some mega talent just amazing skills and there's there's a lot of people like if you if you have an amazing design of, or some kind, like if you have an awesome house, tweet it to me. I want to see it. Do at code primate on Twitter, and uh, no hashtag. Just show show me your build, because I think they're awesome. All right, we should be able to get two out of this. I have to be exact in the middle. One and two, glorious. Glorious. Glory is the day. And what do we have? We have uh, three more. Can I get two out of that one? Maybe that might be too small. Come on, please, please. Yeah, there you go. And this one was bigger than that one, so I know that's good. Sweet. Wee. Oh, that's a little piece. What? What are you doing? It's like a little coaster. Hold on. Here, put. We'll put this right over here. <clears throat> a little coaster, so my coffee doesn't stain my 
my table or my my chair. There we go. Put my coffee on there and I'm good to go. Speaking of coffee, um, for those of you that didn't know, I have ADHD. Okay, attention deficit hyper disorder, and or for those in the in the inner circle of ADHD, attention deficit. Hey, donuts. <laughs> and yes, we make fun of it sometimes, but it's okay to make fun of yourself. Um, it's kind of another thing when people are like, "Oh my God, do you have ADHD or something?" I'm like, "Was that really an insult?" I mean, really, because people who have it don't know that they have it until later on when it's diagnosed but i'll give you a few hints and a few clues if you have adhd you are constantly running like constantly the normal time that you would go to sleep the time that's normal for normal people you don't which causes you to stay up later and you tend to fall asleep later and sleep in longer now, this can always be overcome by just telling yourself, I need to go to bed. Like for example, right now, it's 12.52 at night. I should have gone to bed like probably two hours ago, but I didn't. Uh, I stayed up playing a video game. Why? Because I got hyper-focused on that particular game. I get hyper-focused on this stuff. If you don't know what a hyper-focus is, that's where a singularity, a single thing, a single topic or object becomes an obsession. My son has this a lot. My daughter has this a lot. And that's how we know, like, she's got ADHD. She's never been diagnosed, but I know that she's got ADHD because, like, Sky, the, the game for your, the mobile phone, amazing game. Don't get me wrong. I love it. For the last couple of days, she's been absolutely hyper-focused on it. My son, he's been absolutely hyper-focused on ninjas. Before that, it was aliens. Before that, it was predator. Or no, it was predator and then aliens. And it just, it's these things that you become hyper-focused on. I do this constantly. Lumber Tycoon 2, I get hyper-focused on. Now, I keep coming back to Lumber Tycoon 2 because it gives me an outlet for stuff like this, for me to talk about ADHD, to talk about my disability. But when I look at it, when I look at the things that I can do as a person with ADHD and the things that I can teach you and tell you, if you have ADHD, it's a superpower. It really is. And the reason why is because you can think faster. Your mind's going constantly. It's just, it's a, it's a step up from normalcy. And I don't want to say that you're not normal because to me, my ADHD is part of me. It's who I am. Now I take medication and a lot of parents and a lot of people disagree with taking medication to fix the ADHD, but it's really not a fix. It's more like an assistance for me to focus on things that I need to. If I didn't have my medication and I've gone without medication for a really long time, but <clears throat> I found it harder and harder and harder to stay focused at work. And it's because sometimes I'm just bored and I don't like doing the things that I do, or I get hyper-focused on one situation, one problem in the programming that I'm, I'm doing. And I get so stuck that I just, I don't want to do that now. I'm done. I don't want to do this. This sucks. So what I do, I, I find excuses. I'll go get some more coffee. Oh, I need to take a bathroom break. I need this. I need that. And I've found the best thing to do is take, take that problem. Say, okay, I'm done with you for a second. Stay there and then go work on something else. And it works. It really does. If you're doing that right now, if you have ADHD or you suspect that you have ADHD and you're concentrated on one piece of homework, but then you find yourself wanting to turn on some music and then uh, you read the page, but you forgot what you read or you procrastinate and you get your phone or you go to the bathroom. When you're doing that kind of stuff, take that project, take that homework, take that thing, set it off to the side and go do another thing that you would have been doing after that thing's done. Then once you're done with this thing over here, come back and you might have a new perspective on it. It's just, that's one of the things that helps me with uh, getting through daily life is just taking the time to recognize when my ADHD is actually kicking in because it does, it will kick in and I won't even recognize it. Sometimes my wife will point it out. She's like, Hey, you're being super hyper-focused right now. I'm like, Oh, you're right. I need to stop. So I do anyhow. 
This is a really big area. I like it. Um, what is this going to be? Should this be like the master bathroom? I can make this into like a little clothing closet thing. Or maybe a bookshelf. Would a bookshelf be in the bathroom? I don't know. Do you guys have bookshelves in your bathrooms? Should I have a bookshelf in my bathroom? I don't know. I do need a door though. So we'll, we'll definitely do a door. Where's the door? Boop. Okay. Hold right. on. Bam. Uh, does that, is that right? No, 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 doors down hallways open in the direction of the hallway's exit. So, that direction. Now, I mean, you could do it the other way, but that's more feasible for me. And let's make this out of some birch wood. See how a white door looks inside there. Now, normally I would never use white doors inside a house just because I've got kids. Yeah, that would be a nightmare. Anyhow, boop, there we go. It's a nice door. GG code. Uh, It's been 16 minutes. Hate to do this to you guys, but that's it for tonight. <laughs> I know, I know, it's Friday and it's late for me, so I, I've gotta get, otherwise I'm not gonna get up in the morning and I know that at eight o'clock, I'm gonna have some bots that went down. I'm a bot programmer, I'm an RPA developer, and uh, I'm an application development analyst. I, I love programming, I love code. It's one of the reasons my name's Code Primate. I mean, that was the hacker handle that was given to me back when I was like, what, 14? 14, that was a long time ago. Steven, mark the date today. Reminiscence of hacker days. Don't give me lip, just mark it down. Why, I, I don't know, just mark the day. Okay, Steven, okay, I gotta get. Uh, yeah, no, I'm ending it right now. No, because, like, I gotta go to bed. And you gotta go home. Yeah, okay. That's fine. Yeah. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. With me here, the Askins Code Prime. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos like a good YouTuber does. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool, too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you for that. Have you ever noticed that that's, like, the entire spiel? I mean, I could I could say that in my sleep now. Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. But it's your choice. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool, too. You were here, you watched, you had fun. I love you for that. You can go be a YouTuber. Just follow the formulas, look for the patterns, and edit. A lot of people are like, Code, I want to be just like you. Don't. Don't be like me. Do not try to reach my level. Go better. You can do so much better than I can. Edit your videos. You're young. Uh, or if you're a parent, you could do better than me just having fun. And it will take off. I promise. Keep at it. Keep the grind. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you soon. Steven! Hit the button. I'll say it, you hit it, okay? Oh, you almost hit it, you almost hit it. Outro. Want some new merch? Check out teespring.com. Outro.